The committee set up to review how the National University of Singapore handles sexual misconduct has proposed tougher penalties for offenders, such as longer suspensions and expulsion. And the suspensions will be disclosed to potential employers of the offenders. And this according to an email to students and staff today. A minimum one-year suspension has been recommended for sexual offences, while severe cases could see expulsions. The committee also proposed that medical professionals issue a certification of rehabilitation before any sexual misconduct offender can be allowed back to campus. It recommended a new sanction that the suspensions be noted on the offender's transcripts. The notation will be disclosed for internships and employment and will stay on the transcripts for an unspecified period of time after graduation. The committee added it is looking into the university's proposal to set up a care unit for victims and has commissioned an independent consultancy to carry out an online survey to gather students' views. The committee will publish its final report by mid-June. It was formed after undergraduate Monica Bay took to social media to express her anger on the punishment meted out to Nicholas Lim, a student who had filmed her in the shower last year. NUS asked Lim to write her an apology letter and undergo mandatory counselling. He was also banned from entering halls and residences and suspended from school for a semester.